Hello everyone, welcome to Gaming with a Dad. I'm the dad, Steve. Who? This is Zach the Gamer. You use that controller, Steve! Thanks everybody for watching. Hey guys, just wanted to put this little insert here. We had to cut Steve's videos out of this week's set of videos. Uh, we had some audio issues, so we're just going to be seeing me all week. Sorry about that, and we love to see Steve in here, but we'll hope we'll, uh, we'll get you back for next week. There's literally a fast travel point here. How did we not fast travel here, Steve? Uh... Whatever. It's it's about the journey, not where you go. Hey, that's exactly what you say in the board meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Be positive, Zach. Dude, I'm so psyched, man. I'm so psyched for our uh, the graphics are going to be having come out. Oh, dude, those so were sweet. <laughs> Shout out to the big black cat that I call my older brother. And that's what he calls himself, so it's okay if I fit. <laughs> that's not actually what he calls himself, right? No, 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 it is. That's his hand. One of his handles, man. All right. The big black cat. <laughs> no, you can't say that. <laughs> Come back here. I said, it in the, I said it in the past tense. No, that's, see? No, that's acceptable. You know what else I'm looking forward to? Uh, The new audio setup, man. Like, I dream about it every day. Wow. I dream about not sounding like a hollow can. When Go to Jacob's Mayor, find vault key clue. Um, okay. Dude, are you a James Bond fan? Uh, I mean, I'm a fan of you not breathing into your mic, and you talking uh, about James Bond made you breathe into your mic, so no, by proxy. Um, uh, it makes me excited. I can tell. Tell. Um, I mean, I've seen some of the movies; they're okay. Not my favorite. Oh, I just fast travel at you again. I think. Oh no, you're here. No, you're not. Can you go to that fast travel point and then go to drop pad right here? I'm coming. You, you got to hold on it. Oh, okay, cool. You're coming. Um, what about James Bond? What's going on with James Bond? I'm um, looking at the. I was watching trailers for the new movie. They're making another one. Yep. This should hopefully be the last one. Is this like ever. number thirteen? It's uh, actually eleven thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Well, that makes more sense. Why I haven't seen all of them they or made, really they any made of them. A bunch in Mexico and. Uh, a lot of people got really upset about it. They made a bunch in Mexico, you said? No, I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm not joking about. How bad Star Wars was. Oh, really? I, yeah. I oh, We recorded that podcast before you went, right? Yeah. Get a vehicle, please. Please get a vehicle. Cool, let's go. Really? You thought it was bad? I hear really mixed reviews on it. Either you loved it or you hated it. It was just one of those things where... Uh, it's not that uh, it was anticlimactic. I just didn't like the pacing of it. Okay. But I did give it a seven out of sentimental value, and that's about it. That's all. It's is ever it? Given. That's not a fair seven, then. No, it's not at all. And I'll tell them right to their face. Okay. Because there were parts of it that didn't really bother me, but there were other parts where I was just like, oh, "Man, it's not the way you don't go that way. It's not the way you introduce the big bad of your series. Well, you know, the big sport. bad." Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is not the way you introduce to reintroduce uh, the main villain. Darth Vader? No, Darth Vader was never the main villain. It was Emperor Palpatine. Oh, okay. All right, I think we need to go another way. I don't think we can go this way. Interesting. Yeah, I will. You know, based off of that, I will not be seeing it. Oh, definitely wait for it to come out on illegal stream box. I don't have one of those. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't think this is the right way, but you're going to follow me anyway. I saw a piece of tech that I wanted to send you a picture of. Ah! Called the game box, which is just... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, I mean, I'm stuck in a bad way, dude. <laughs> <sighs> and this thing was the most funny thing ever. Uh-huh. Is that like the Soldier Boy one? No, no, no. It was an emulation machine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just thought it was funny because we were talking about the other day, like, an integrated video service. And yeah. <laughs> so this has all the uh, games, like, some of your favorite classic systems all in one place. Okay, so it's an emulation machine so far. Got it. Yeah, but it looks so bad. Like, the user interface was so bad. It's hilarious. <laughs> like, the emblems were these uh, JPEGs, like, the emblems for Xbox and PlayStation. I'm like, oh, this is... Someone's they weren't even PNGs? No. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, don't blow that up! Oh, I, I want you to get in it so we can use it as a vehicle! I had to kill that guy. It was dead! 
Had to kill him good, though. Oh my god. You know what? Dude, this is Tennessee. And this is how we do things in Tennessee. We need to, we need to fast travel out of here. Um, we're gonna go back here. How do I... Oh, I don't think I could actually travel to here, can I? No. Oh my god. Alright, well. I guess we're running. We gotta get back up, and then we gotta go across that bridge. Okay. I don't think I've seen anything recently that was like of note since the Irishman at least. I probably I won't watch. Okay. I did not want to be here. God damn. I kind of just left you to die, not gonna lie. Your dog just murders everything. Are you putting your skill points in your dog? I tried to watch the Irishman started it and I was like, oh shit, I fell asleep. Really? No, I watched it before I was going to bed, so. Seemed like a perfect movie. Two old guys. That's. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed by your entire outtake on. <laughs> how how more wrong could you be about something? You like something so beautiful. <laughs> that was so good. McGregor versus Cerrone's coming up, man. Yeah, uh, not interested. Don't care. Even a little bit. Not even a little bit. I just, I could, I could only watch Connor try to make a comeback so many times, right? And if he loses the cowboy, like, does he try to fight again? No. Like, and it. but then, but who would he fight if he loses loses against Cowboy? That's why I think it would have been a better fight against Justin Gaethje. At least go out on your sword. Not the Cowboys, not to go out on your sword fight, but no, but Ga Gaethje is killing him, right? Gaethje's uh, knocking him out in the first round. No, Connor's got a pretty good chin. Yeah, but has his he... Achilles Hills his Achilles Hills has never been being knocked out. He's been knocked down a few times, but it's always submission. So his first two losses were via submission, and uh, his next loss <laughs> was via submission. Two next two losses were via submission. Well, yeah, he lost against um, Khabib and Nate, right? Yeah. Yep. Interesting. But I'm, you know me, I. I'm you a, don't I'm, think Gaethje I'm, knocks him out? I think he has the potential of knocking him out, but uh, I think that's a that's a good fight for Connor in the sense where Gaethje would probably there's a good chance that Gaethje would probably end up looking like Eddie Alvarez in that because in that situation Gaethje doesn't have like the best striking, uh -huh. but he's got some powerful hands, right? Yeah. And if Connor shows up and he does anything other than wade forward, he's got a good chance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I just. I don't know. Maybe I've seen Gaethje knock too many people out in a row. But I'm just like, oh, he's just going to knock everybody out. I haven't really thought about how, how good of a chin Connor has. I mean, it's, I, think it's, I think it's a fun fight. I mean, I agree 100%. If Connor loses this fight, I don't know if he retires, but we don't see him for a while, and that might as well lead to retirement. Yeah, but we, didn't, we haven't seen him for a while in, like... He's got $48 million, man. I wouldn't see you for a while if you had that money. Oh, you would never see me again. But that's the point. <laughs> Well, that's because I'd have you killed if I had that money. I'm like, Zach, I can't have any telling anyone anything about this. I'm gonna die. No, I mean, yeah. it's just like if you you either want to fight or you don't, right? And he's somewhere in between, and it it's not fun for everyone else, right? Like it, we everyone wants to see Connor fight. Like, don't get me wrong, I want to see Connor fight because Connor's exciting when Connor's fighting. Right. But also in that same vein. Like, maybe I don't want to see him fight because, oh, dude, we might have okay. some issues here. We might be way out leveled. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just want to see either Connor be active or Connor get beat by Cowboy and say, okay, maybe this isn't for me anymore. Right. Right. He wants to fight three times next year or something. It's just what he keeps saying. But he's going to get, if, if his fight is or the his plan is exactly as he says it is beat cowboy fight Ma masvidal fight khabib like he's not getting past the second fight and first of all he has to get past cowboy so you know an active cowboy and this is probably cowboy's longest break in forever um before this fight like an active cowboy is is not an easy fight for connor um, yeah, an active cowboy is an easy fight for anyone. Right. But but this is cowboy we're talking about. But right? this is also Connor who hasn't fought in, what, 18 months or something? 
And yeah, the last time he fought, he got destroyed. Yeah, but we're also talking about a Cowboy Cerrone that... I've been following his career long enough to see the ebbs and flows. So the one thing he definitely has going besides his natural skill level is the fact that he hasn't had three fights before this and been on a three-fight winning streak. Yeah. <laughs> like, that makes sense. Because if, if this was the fourth fight on that streak, there's a good chance... He just gets knocked out first <laughs> round. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I knew just, where you were going with that. <laughs> I, guess, man, I just... You know, I, I either want to see Connor fight or be smart enough to say, hey, this isn't for me anymore. Yeah. Right. That's it. That's all I want. I want him to acknowledge the fact that, you know, maybe this isn't for him anymore or maybe it is. And he just has to get he has to reevaluate how he's living his life or how he's just, you know, being in general. So yeah, I get to. Yeah, I don't know. I hate in-betweeners. And that's kind of what Connor is right now.